Hello, guy. Hello, guy. Hello, guy. Hello. Oh, sorry. Hello, guys. Uh, wait just a second. Today, I'm going to show you how to make an infinite cobblestone spring. What did I say? Today, I am going to show you how to make an infinite... Hey. How to make an infinite... What the... Wrong world. How to make an... How to make it... How to make it... How to make it I'm going to show you how to make an infinite cobblestone spring. Because cobbles, cause no resource in Minecraft is infinite. Well, some are, but some aren't. For example, if you know how... No. See how it's, it's, it's a tiny bit laggy, so I'm just going to fix that by going to Options, Video Settings, you bobbing Off, Performance, Map, Power Saver. No. Sorry, guys. Well. Okay, then. This is... What the, what the hell? What? Where am I? I want to go to Esfadiv. I'm confused. I'm really confused. Okay, guys. This is, this is my world... Uh, okay, guys, this is my tutorial, tutorial world, it seems, but I have no idea where at the heck I am. I don't remember wandering away from my spawn So, anyways, I'm going to show you how to make an infinite cobblestone spring. Uh-oh. Yeah. So, okay, guys, now, do you know if... What, now, um, now, leather's infinite because cows are infinite because they... Because they sp can spawn infinitely, and they drop leather all the time. So, so, yeah, so, but if you take, but sand's not infinite. So if you take all the sand from this area, you'll have to travel farther and farther out. Because when you when you start Minecraft, it creates uh, an area of land, um, about 64 blocks or something around you. Then the farther you go from that area, it has to generate more and more land, right? And the more land, the more land the computer generates, the more m m memory it takes up. And your computer has a limited memory, so... So if it takes up too much memory, it can put a little crash. So yeah, so sand is infinite, nor is dirt or stone. Okay. Now, but I I know how to make I know how, I know, I know how to make stone infinite, and I know how to make cobblestone infinite. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Just just a second, guys. I wanna pause the video, get get my stuff, and then play it. Okay, guys. Here, here is what you'll need for for this demonstration. I mean, here is what I need for the infinite. He, here is the ingredients you'll need for your infinite cobblestone spring: wooden pickaxe, water bucket, and lava bucket. Wooden pickaxe, water bucket, lava bucket, and a wooden. Okay, here's what you need. You'll need a you'll need a wooden you'll need a, at least a wooden pickaxe, a water bucket, a lava bucket, at least wooden pickaxe, a water bucket, and a lava bucket. Six things. Just kidding, it's three. Okay, so now all you need to do is... Oh, it's so dark. So now all I need to do is... Hope you guys can see, I'm so sorry. Wait. I'm gonna get some torches so you guys can see better. Hello, guys, back. Um, I am back. Put some torches everywhere. There. Now, now all you need to do is... Y you do got guys. You do not need torches. I just got those so you could see. So you know what I need is you only need to, need to dig a four by four by one hole. One, two, three, four. See, four blocks long, and one block this way. Okay, guys, get it. Four by one, and okay. Now all I need to do is that see that there's four blocks. One. Two, three, four, right? The two middle ones you'll need to, you'll need to dig. See? So now it's like now, now it's like steps. Bink, 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 bink. Can you guys see? Now all you need, all you need to do is place water on either this place, on either that one, or this one. Like this. Bink, 
See how that water flows. So awesome. Anyways, good. Now, 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 what you need to do is place lava right there. See, it creates cobblestone. You can mine this cobblestone now because the water um hit the lava. What, what, whatever it's called, the water hit the lava stuff. Okay, the water hit the lava's extendant and made cobblestone. Now you can mine this cobblestone like this, right? Oh great. Ah. Uh, Okay, you can mine cobble you can mine the cobblestone like this. But 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 it'll be really hard to get it. So just dig a hole right there, right next to the cobblestone, and you and when you mine it like this, when you're next to it, you'll almost always get the cobblestone. Oh yeah. There. Isn't that awesome? That is an infinite cobblestone spring. Because yeah, like I told you, if you get all the if you get all the um sand from one place or something, then you'll have to go out farther and farther out of your out of your um out of your away from your spawn point to get more of it. And that'll take up more memory space. And sooner or later your printer will crash because you have too much memory taken up. And then you won't be able to go out anymore. And you won't be able to go out out anymore to get more sand. So you'll be stuck with the sand you already have, and that sand will deplete, and you'll have no sand left. So yeah, so that's how to make infinite cobblestone. Isn't that awesome? M much easier to get than just mining hay. All right, um, here's how to make infinite water. What you'll need is two waters. See, this is one block. Hey. Right. Hey, well, how long is the video? So yeah, when well, I water, now this is really cool. Watch. Hey. Now see, see this water, see this block right here. Now, why do I take this block? See, the water flows back in. Now, that, that's because, well, no, but to make to make to make to make another block of water, you need one block of water. To make one to, to make another block of water, you need two extendants to flow together, which means you need one of this, one one, one of this, need, which means now uh, this block of water and this block of water, um, produce extendants, and those extendants flow together, creating another block of water. Paul Sores Jr. Pa Paul Sores Paul Sores Jr.'s Paul Sores Jr.'s um thingy his thingy yeah his thingy um his infinite water inf infinite water spring is like this the reason why it's like that is so you can take water from all sides and it'll be like this now watch hey that is not a bath Paul Sores Jr. there's my chickens Okay. Okay, um. Bump. It's not a bath. No, it's not a bath. Don't bath in it. Boop. Ew, floating logs. Okay, so. Now what I need to do. No. Is. No, TG. Okay. We need to. Now, now what happens if you dig part here? Now. Now this. And then, now, now the part that. The part that you want to. Now, see how this part is like. See how this part is flat. Now, watch this. Okay. Now, watch this. Now, but when I take that water from this side, see, it doesn't it doesn't flow back together. That's because in, if, if you want a block of water, if, if you want to produce a block of water, there has to be a floor under, underneath the block of water. More water is not considered a floor. More is lava. But the lava will turn into a floor, anyways. So, get it, guys? Oopsie. Now, now, for some reason, for some reason, for some reason, when I when I make an infinite lava, infinite spring for for lava, it doesn't actually work like this. I have I have I have not figured out how to make an infinite lava spring that actually works. Nor I don't think you can make an infinite obsidian. But 
But yeah, that's it. Hey. Okay. Bye. Mm, wrong button.